Okay, this video is going to show us how to take our imported laser template that we uh, brought in from Whitebox and trace the shapes to create new vector shapes uh, in AutoCAD. Um, this isn't uh, necessary for, for some of our designs, uh, but for some other designs, it might be something that uh, is desirable. So we have previously used the insert tab and, and imported a PDF. The PDF is uh, what we downloaded off of uh, Whitebox for our laser cut template. Now what I'm going to do is uh, use a line tool here, and I'm going to use a line tool on a different layer. i got to go to the Home tab. Uh, so we'll click on the Home tab here. And <clears throat> when you bring this in, it generates two layers, a PDF geometry layer and a text layer. And then there's the uh, default base layer of zero. So I'm going to differentiate here with the base layer of zero. Um, but also you could create your own layer. And if you were going to do that, you would go into layer properties. And uh, in your layer properties, you're going to create a new layer. And I recommend having that new layer uh, be in a one of these CMYK colors. So uh, maybe my new layer here uh, will be uh, green. And uh, then you can close your layers palette. Uh, so you can create as many new layers. The layers help later in differentiating the, the laser itself. So um, let's go to that green layer, make that active. And that's what I'm going to use to trace uh, here. So I'm going to use the line tool. Uh, and I'm just going to trace my wing. I'm going to snap to that end point there on the wing. And <clears throat> if I think about how I'm going to create this, it might be best that I actually create the wing tip as I trace around here. Um, <clears throat> now, when I zoom in here, you'll notice that it snapped to an endpoint uh, that um, is in, incorrect. And if I wanted to shorten this or shrink this back, I have to drag this back to that location. Um, so I want the, the intersection there. I'm going to click on this one. And shrink this one back to uh, here like that um, so I make sure I have an accurate uh, reflection there now one thing too my wing is going to have a dihedral cut here and uh, you can see this is a one reason why we want to trace if you notice that this little triangle um, is just a little tiny segment and, and uh, unfortunately um, white box creates these segments that aren't uh, joined together and so I'm going to try to bisect this um, finding that point intersection and just coming straight down uh, so I can bisect my wing and really my only concern now is connecting what I had uh, previously and uh, I'll do the same thing up here I'm going to snap to the green and come and snap to this intersection. Now, because this is a symmetrical wing, um, I don't even have to worry about tracing on this side. Um, I'm gonna mirror this. So I have these, these see my green lines here. Um, if I select all those lines that, that we drew, and I use my mirror tool like this, um, you find that up in your mod modifies uh, here, you click on mirror, and uh, it says specify the first point of your mirror line. Well, the first point is going to be uh, right here at that intersection. And I want to mirror, you saw that flip around, okay? Well, I'll just pull, pull straight down uh, to our intersection here. And you should see that it overlaid our um, red pretty nicely. It's asking you, do you want to erase your source objects? And in this case, no, I don't. Um, and now I have my green wing uh, that has been traced. Um, I can do the same thing if um, if my other lines here are not grouped together. And you can see with this little rectangle, when I take my selection tool, you notice that there's a whole bunch of little dots. This isn't a rectangle. This is a rectangle that's been created by a bunch of little teeny tiny uh, segments here. So since this is a straight rectangle, I'm going to use my rectangle tool in the green. And I'm going to go to this corner. And I'm just going to pull across to my opposite corner to create a polyline. 
So now when that lights up, the polyline is, is what's lighting up there. So this is the advantage of, and, and here I can see this is all one polyline. So I really don't truly need to trace this um, because it is already lit up uh, as a polyline. So um, this one is not one that, that needs or requires the tracing uh, for simplicity. And I think the same can be said about our triangle and uh, about and this triangle appears to be uh, three different pylons, and so that's fine. If you wanted to trace that, you could trace that. You'll notice that some of our uh, points have these little uh, curves on them. And if I were uh, to trace a curve, what I want to do is try to uh, approximate a um, radius um, in, in matching uh, radial. So some of you might have round uh, wing tips. And uh, in which case you might use the circle or the arc if you knew what those radiuses were. Um, when you use the arc tool, um, you can use a um, you can use any uh, one of these where we we know the start, we know the end, we know the direction of our our uh, arc um, is is going to go. Um, you can trace these out using this tool. So that's exactly what I'm going to do here. I'm selecting the uh, start, end, and direction tool here. And I know my arc starts at the end of that endpoint. It ends at the end of this endpoint here. And uh, I can bend and pull that out. You can see how uh, my direction is indicated here. It doesn't have to be a perfect matchup. Okay? And honestly, on this triangle, it doesn't matter. You don't have to have the arc there. But if you have a part that has an arc on it, that's uh, one way you can... Uh, match up in arc, get a little more uh, perfect form here. Um, with your parts traced to the layer that, that you uh, want or need them to be uh, on, and I'm actually, what I'm going to do right now with my uh, tail section, my uh, vertical stabilizer, I'm going to assign this to the green layer. Um, so I just selected it, uh, assigned it to the green layer, I hit escape there. Um, something I'm seeing oh, okay so with, with the parts assigned to the green layer if I come up to my layers palette and I turn my red PDF geometry layers off um, now my parts that I've I've drawn are what's what's visible and I can now move these and manipulate these around uh, as necessary so that is bringing a PDF in and tracing the PDF and turning it into turning uh, each of these areas into their own polyline segments, which does make for a cleaner cut later on on the laser. Hope this helps in converting your um, PDF to line.